It is day number one of our daily photography vlog challenge and I've just dropped off the X-T4 at the Meister Camera photo house here in Hamburg. And one of the very good things about living in a city and beginning to settle down is that here in Hamburg there are three pro camera shops that I can choose from, not to mention ordering online whatever you need, but it's really, really nice to be able to bike downtown. I got a bike by the way, it's this one right here which is awesome, but I can just come down here in like 10 minutes and pick up a, you know, whatever camera it seems like to test. I'm sure that's not true. These guys also sell Hasselblad and Leica uh, and medium format Fujis, but at least they did let me try the R6 and the X-T4, which was really, really kind of them. So uh, I've just dropped off the X-T4 and the first photo that I'm gonna try and get in our daily photography vlog challenge for myself here is uh, right in downtown Hamburg because just behind me down this street is the Alsta, I think. It's like one of the main lakes in the center of the city and there is kind of a classic panorama shot of part of the old town that I'm going to try and capture so I brought my tripod where is it there it is and I've got my filters and we're going to try and get that right now let's go bloody cold here in Hamburg today. It is windy and like minus four degrees and overcast and really not ideal weather for starting this daily vlog. And it's like the middle of the day. I think it's just after 1 p.m. So I'm gonna try and get a midday shot and I hope that it turns out well. But this is sort of the idea behind this vlog is it's gonna be a bit spontaneous. The videos are gonna be a lot shorter than I normally do. And I wanna share with you guys sort of just my daily thoughts about photography or about whatever it is I'm doing, trying to find work and living this lifestyle and staying creative on my part as I mentioned in the video yesterday. So I wanted to talk briefly about why I didn't end up going with the X-T4 and there are two reasons in particular that kind of uh, sold me on not buying it. And what those are is that the lens that I was using was the 16 to 80 f4 which is just like a standard kit zoom lens and when I was zooming while recording there were these obvious jumps in exposure. It wasn't like the, uh, the camera could kind of keep up with that zoom and I looked into it online afterwards and it was saying that uh, well it was the people online were saying that um, the problem with this exposure jumping with the zoom lens from Fuji is that the iris of your aperture when it's set to a specific f-stop like say 2.8 and you're zooming from 16 up to 80 uh, the, it's actually f4 the 16 to 80 but the 16 to 55 is 2.8 and the same thing was happening with that one uh, from what I read online so the problem was that as the iris was sort of getting bigger to compensate for the new focal length the the sensor couldn't keep up with that change in light so to keep it at the 2.8 aperture it would have to like either get darker or brighter depending on which way you were zooming and uh, I was seeing that at f4 with the 16 to 80 but I was reading online that that was happening with the 16 to 55 and the 55 to 140 which were the two lenses that I was going to buy if I bought the X-T4. So it's a bit of a long-winded description but that jump in exposure when I'm quick zooming and video uh, capturing video at the same time is a no-go for me. Sorry if it's a bit windy by the way I'm not sure if you can hear that. Another thing was the mic. The mic was picking up these weird sounds because it was pretty windy and this is the Rode Video Micro which is a really cheap easy like uh, connecting plug-and-play microphone that works really well so when I first realized on the Fuji that I was getting these weird sounds I was like no I can't deal with that and funny enough Thomas Heaton was having those same problems as well um, so that was the first main thing. The mic is kind of secondary. The second thing that really bothered me about it was again the zoom with the uh, the lens that I had. It had to refocus every single time, and that kind of happens with the GH5. These two lenses that I have, they're the Leica 8 to 18 and the 12 to 60, but it's definitely not that bad, especially if I'm in manual focus. And I found with that Fuji lens that I would zoom real quick, and it would have to refocus every single time, whether I was zooming in or out. And again, that's just a no-go because if I'm like running 
gun shooting, you know, if we're on assignment or if I'm out on one of the adventure photography tours, I want to be filming and zooming in and zooming out and having to recalibrate either my exposure or the focus every single time is just a no-go. So those are, are kind of nitpicky things, but I realized them on the very first day of using the Fuji. And then that's where I was kind of like, whoa, shit, I thought this was going to be the camera for me. Uh, and unfortunately, those two things are, are a bit of a deal breaker. cold okay my very first shot is at 24 mil in the 24 to 70 with the usr and it's super wide so i'm getting a bit of distortion off in the distance on the horizon but i wanted those four uh, steeples i think three of them are churches and one is the city hall in the frame so what i've done is focus stack them because i want this ice and the leaves in the foreground now i'm using this h and y filter which is brand new it's uh, actually a test model of i think a kickstarter campaign that's happening it's a nd filter and a circular polarizer built into one and it works relatively well i saw nick made a video about it actually and i uh, should have met, probably messaged him but I, I watched the video i thought it was really good so what i want to try and do is instead of getting it all into one frame and focus stacking i want to try and do like a bit of a panorama stitch so i'm going to try and shoot the foreground with a three shot panel and then the uh, background as well in a three, three shot panel and hopefully i'll be able to stitch it together and get rid of some of that distortion from the wide angle even at 24 it's because we're kind of in an awkward situation here It'd be better if i was right on the ground but uh you know i still think i can make it work especially for our first daily vlog i want to have at least one good photo here in the middle of the day in hamburg so as much as i like the h and y filter i am going to switch back to my benro system for this uh, second attempt at a photo because i know my own benro system really well and i've got the polarizer and i've got the square uh, grad filters so I think I'll be able to uh, yeah I guess balance my image a bit better because as you know I'm not the same Photoshop master that Mr. Nick Page is so as much as I can focus stack and do a bit of blending and stuff I think uh, I'm gonna rely a little heavier on my filters for this second attempt. Okay, I think we'll get something out of the session here down by the lake. It is so bloody cold, but I'm really happy to get that ice in the foreground. I think with a bit of creative editing and some stitching, I should be able to come out with one nice photo, which is the whole goal behind the daily vlog sessions here on the channel. So these have just begun. I wanna do this for over a month. I forgot to say that on the uh, last video yesterday that was announcing these daily vlogs, but I, the idea is to challenge myself to stay creative and stay inspired in a new city in the winter you know and it's tough I must admit not traveling and seeing my business really take a hit has been uh, harder than I thought but it doesn't mean that I can't go out and create videos and share my lifestyle with you guys even if that means just staying creative getting some street stuff some architecture whatever I can find here in Hamburg that I think will be cool and trying to capture one image per day and that's what we're gonna do so I hope to see you follow along in these adventures to be quite honest I'm pretty certain I'm gonna see a dip in views and possibly even subscribers over the next week of doing dailies but I think overall it's more important for me to stay creative and stay inspired than play the algorithm and play for uh, for views and subs and whatever clickbait all that stuff that's not what I'm looking to do I think the idea about daily vlogging actually can probably is a good thing for the algorithm to be honest but it's more of the challenge for myself to stay creative so that's what we're gonna do here on the channel and I hope that you enjoy this first image from our first daily vlog here in Hamburg, Germany. Here she is, and I really hope it turned out good. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.